This video is based on the new technologies and concepts introduced by Microsoft. For nearly 20 years, Microsoft has focused on making computers easier to use for individuals with a wide array of difficulties and impairments, from its earliest experiences with the issues of accessibility, Microsoft has listened, learned, and applied what it's learned, the result is an increasing momentum toward the goal of making computers accessible and useful to all people. Microsoft Surface represents a fundamental change in the way we interact with digital content. With Surface, we can actually grab data with our hands and move information between objects with natural gestures and touch. Surface features a 30-inch tabletop display whose unique abilities allow for several people to work independently or simultaneously. All without using a mouse or a keyboard, Microsoft Surface Computer Features Direct Interaction The ability to grab digital information with hands, interacting with touch or gesture, not with a mouse or keyboard. The ability to recognize multiple points of contact at the same time, not just one, but dozens. The Surface's screen is horizontal, allowing many people to come together around it and experience a collaborative, face-to-face -face computing experience. Physical objects can be placed on the surfaces screen to trigger different types of digital responses. The Xbox is a sixth-generation video game console produced by Microsoft Corporation. It was Microsoft's first foray into the gaming console market and competed with Sony's PlayStation 2 and Nintendo's GameCube. The integrated Xbox Live service allows players to compete online. The Xbox has a lot of support from big-name publishers and developers including Atari, THQ, Electronic Arts, among many, many others. Microsoft also has its own development studios that produce games exclusively for Xbox. The Xbox is a solid investment, because it is not only a great game console, but it is also a full-feature DVD player. This saves space, saves time, and provides fun for the entire family. The Microsoft Xbox 360 Elite and the Sony PlayStation 3 are the newest consoles which has been released by the two companies. When it comes to compare the two consoles almost both of them are very high performance machines. PS3 has 80 GB hard disk which can be upgraded up to even 500 GB. Xbox Elite on the other hand has a 120 GB built-in hard disk which is not upgradable. Both consoles are backward compatible.
Microsoft Visual Studio is an integrated development environment from Microsoft. It can be used to develop console and graphical user interface applications, along with Windows Forms applications, websites, web applications, and web services in both native code together with managed code for all platforms supported by Microsoft Windows, Windows Mobile, Windows CE, Net Framework, Net Compact Framework, and Microsoft Silverlight. Multi-targeting lets you target code to a specific Net Framework version. .NET Framework 2, which was included with Visual Studio 2005. .NET Framework 3, which is included with Windows Vista. .NET Framework 3.5, which is included with Visual Studio 2008. Windows Presentation Foundation applications have been added to Visual Studio 2008. There are four WPF project types. WPF application, WPF browser application, WPF custom control library, and WPF user control library. Until iSense has been improved, and now supports JScript authoring and ASP.NET Ajax scripting. Client script that is included in a web page by using script tags now has the benefit of Intel iSense. Working with cascading style sheets is enhanced in Visual Studio 2008 and easier than ever. Much of the work designing the layout and styling content can be done in Design View using the CSS Properties Grid, the Apply Styles and Manage Styles panes, and the Direct Style Application Tool. Language Integrated Query is a new set of features in Visual Studio 2008 that extend powerful query capabilities into the language syntax of C Sharp and Visual Basic. Visual Studio 2008 includes link provider assemblies that enable language integrated querying of .NET framework collections, SQL databases, ADO.NET datasets, and XML documents. This is an example for LINQ. First we have to include the link library by calling system.link command. Here we create a static function called link. Then we create an array with some elements. Then we create a variable called myNums to assign the query which is going to execute inside the program. This is the C Sharp language query which we have used inside our link example. These queries have the ability to debug step by step during the compiled time. The program will go through the array using for each loop and print the selected elements according to the query given using console.writeLine. 